Welcome back to Cosmoholics Anonymous. I am your favorite girl, Bo Vintage, and today's video is a special video. All my videos are special, but like this one's super special. <laughs> my buns are not even, like, they're like falling off because I didn't even do them over. When I took this wig off the last time, I just put it to the side and then I just slipped it back on. <laughs> So that's why my buns are a little wonky, but that's okay. So this is how to get pregnant fast and I'm super excited to do this because when I was reading my comments, once I announced my pregnancy, there was a lot of people in there asking various questions and so I just wanted to do this video for that reason. Disclaimer, okay? If you and your man break up every other week, day, month, year, this video is not for you. If your man is constantly cheating on you, a baby will not solve your problems, this video is not for you. If you are underaged, this video is not for you. If you are unsure that your man even wants to have kids, this video is not for you. If your man is unemployed, or if both of y'all asses is unemployed, this video is definitely not for you. Lastly, if your man takes more than five minutes to text you back and he's not doing anything, this video is definitely not for you. <laughs> this video is for you if, in fact, you found yourself trying and trying and trying and trying and trying and trying some more and trying again and you just can't seem to get pregnant and you're frustrated and like you're stressed out about it and you don't know why you're not getting pregnant and your doctor said you're completely healthy and like you don't have anything to worry about but you just can't seem to get pregnant this video is definitely for you ma'am okay once i announced that i was pregnant i received a lot of um comments and questions about that and a lot of people were wishing me well but then saying that they themselves have been trying and for like a year for six months for however long and they just can't seem to get pregnant meanwhile i only tried to get pregnant one other time which was two months before i got pregnant and i was able to get pregnant at the drop of a hat my mom always says this quote i blink i'm pregnant <laughs> And that it was true for her like literally like she blinks and she was pregnant she had five girls and I'm hoping that it's the same for me because I do want to have quite a bit of quick kids so you know but yeah I just kind of wanted to give you guys um, something to work with because I would I understand the frustration that came with not being pregnant even when I wasn't trying I was still praying that my period didn't come like I was just like don't come period please like honestly and so I totally get it it's extremely hurtful and frustrating when you try to get pregnant and your period still comes and then you're not pregnant like I, I get it so I kind of just wanted to do this video because of those reasons alone so before I got pregnant all I could think about was getting pregnant literally like that's all I could think about. I was stressed out about it because I was obsessing over it and that's completely normal to start obsessing over getting pregnant when you're trying to get pregnant and you're not seeing any results, okay? Because there's some people that will literally have sex every single day of the month except for their during their cycle and um, they still don't get pregnant and they're confused because if you're having sex all those days throughout the month even when you're ovulating and you're not getting pregnant it's like why what the hell is wrong with me but let me tell you this right now if you are stressing about it it's not going to happen for you my situation was a little different because as long as we've been together we've always discussed having children but we've never had a pregnancy scare and so that was kind of alarming for me because I'm just like how is it that we are not having pregnancy scares when we bang like bunnies like I don't get it and so I guess pull out games mad strong super strong shout out the baby daddy but like um we just never ever had a pregnancy scare and so I was starting to think something was wrong with me something's wrong with him because it's just like how are you that good at pulling out you know what I mean but some people are just good at pulling out, I guess. So as much as we discussed having children and stuff, I don't think either one of us were actually ready to take that plunge until this year, like until, until 2017, <laughs> literally, because I actually wanted to have my first child at 23. And um, 
that was always just the perfect age in my head I thought and so I actually feel like I'm starting late because I'm 25 two years behind what I had planned out but like they say man plans and God laughs so it is what it is I think 25 is a perfect age depending on your situation but um, and depending on how many kids you want to have too like if you only want to have one you can wait out as long as you want but like because I want so many for that depends on how the first one goes but um, I do want to have a large family so yeah I started to prepare my body for pregnancy months ago and it was just simply by starting to lose weight because I just felt like for my height I'm overweight and so I wanted to lose weight because I one I was not happy with my body and two once I became pregnant or because I was planning to get pregnant so once I became pregnant I didn't want to end up being so big to where I can't lose it because I don't witness too many people with that problem child and I am young I'm not trying to be a blimp after I have a baby you know what I mean and so I started exercising I started eating healthier and this is completely optional but like when you are losing weight you are more likely to get pregnant faster that could be a myth for all I know but I've heard it in more than one place so I'm just gonna roll with the punches because honestly I was losing I lost 10 I think 10 pounds or 11 pounds before I got pregnant and then when I got pregnant I lost even more weight because I've been sick losing weight is actually step one or not even losing weight but just having a healthier diet and like changing your eating habits so the second step to getting pregnant quickly is to track your period I am fortunate to have a very 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 regular cycle I do not miss my period and I've always tracked it for years using the same period tracker. I've used it for so long that it is backed up to my iCloud so I can access periods from like 2014, okay? <laughs> um, it is called Period Plus. It is in the App Store. I don't know if they have it for Android chat because I'm an iPhone user, but it is the best. I understand that everyone is different and everybody's cycles different and everybody's body is different. So tracking your period if it's not regular maybe a little weird but you should still track it because at the end of the day if you are tracking your period you'll be able to track other things which will help you to get pregnant I kind of treated getting pregnant like an experiment so that it was more fun it was like a science project I know that sounds crazy <laughs> but like it's just better to do it that way because if you treat it like an experiment it's like you just wait to see if it's it's not a big deal you know it's not as big a deal as if you're treating it like oh my gosh I have to get pregnant now 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 like you just treat it as an experiment you do it and see what happens so can you guys see I'll try to like zoom in on my phone this is the app this one right here is a little pink uh, and white flower and it's called period plus and I'm 55 days late <laughs> so if I click today I have it brings up the calendar what the hell oh no cancel sorry um, calendar if I click calendar it shows me everything I need to know so we're gonna go back to March no we're gonna go back to April because that's when my last period was March so this is the first day of my last period and the last day of my last period and um, I tracked it every day and you get to track like what your symptoms are so you track your weight you track if you have spotting your cervical mucus quality if you had a normal period flow your cramp intensity your breast tenderness your breakout if you have acne um, there's a lot of different things you can track and this this app is free but you can purchase it and then you get more stuff if you do that but I just have the free app I didn't go ahead and purchase any of the perks it is really good and I've been using it for years and it helped me get pregnant for sure step three would be to be using the same app track your ovulation so 
it's actually automatic with this app it tells you in purple when you're ovulating if your period is regular this will be really easy for you if it's not regular it's probably gonna be a little bit more difficult i'm not a gynecologist child i don't know anything about these things i just know about my period my body and what's going on with me i usually start ovulating seven days after my period ends when i got pregnant my period ended on the first and i started ovulating on the eighth like that okay and that's exactly what once you enter the last day of your period um the calendar will adjust to show you when you're going to start ovulating and tracking your ovulation is key into when you're going to get pregnant so say your period is un um isn't regular just check your vagina to see if you're ovulating or not like you should know when you're ovulating say your period is not regular and you get your period just wait seven days after your period ends and see if you start to ovulate and if you do then you know it's time to get busy on that note just because you're ovulating does not mean you're necessarily you're necessarily ready to be fertilized so that you have to watch for too and luckily the app shows you i wish this was a damn sponsored video i honestly do luckily the app shows you when you are most fertile it shows you in green so that is the best day for you to have sex to get a baby okay step number four is actually crazy because it is to hold off on the sex this was hard for us to do because um it was just hard but we both agreed that in order to i guess heighten our chances of having a baby we would just hold in all our urges and make it the most passionate night ever <laughs> um when it came to um baby making we waited exactly 10 days after my period had ended to have sex the first time and so 10 days after would mean that i started ovulating and that i was going to be most fertile so 10 days after my last period ended would have been the 11th of april well, on the 11th of april was the first time we porked on the 12th was the second time we porked and then we just let it go and then we just did what we did for the rest of the month but like during ovulation we had sex two times only the day that I was most fertile was the 11th but we just had sex on the 12th as well to make like just to thing you can have sex throughout your entire ovulation period to I guess heighten your chances but like we just decided that those were the two days that we would stick to in order to try to get pregnant and this actually came from um, my friend <laughs> she I was talking to her about getting pregnant and she's pregnant and um, she was telling me and I did not believe her until I did it she was telling me that I have to have sex 10 days after my period and it will work and so I don't know if this is a myth or what but hello hi i am pregnant and i am 12 weeks and um i literally waited 10 days had sex and now i'm having a baby and so i don't know how accurate that is i don't know where she got the information from but this is why i say i treated it as an experiment because it was like it was like okay i'm gonna do what my friend said she said this is she said yeah yeah man i had sex 10 days after my period and blah blah blah, blah. And now I'm now I'm here <laughs> and she's almost due so it's just like um, I don't know like you, it's just an experiment like go and have fun with it that being said this whole 10 day thing waiting 10 days before you start having sex or um, just waiting until you're ovulating to start having sex that might be an issue for your significant other for your man to not wank okay but you gotta tell him you can't wank like we ain't about to be wasting the good good because <laughs> you can't be shooting the you can't be shooting the special sauce down the drain like what if that is the next lebron james you can't be wasting it so literally wait 10 days that means no sex no self-pleasuring nothing just wait the 10 days have sex and then forget about it act like you didn't even have sex because I had tried in February and it didn't work out and I was so sad about it 
that's why I was willing to just try anything because I had nothing to lose like we honestly have nothing to lose once my friend told me that whole 10 day thing I was like okay whatever she said 10 days she's having a baby girl I'm gonna just go and do my thing side note if you are pushing to have a specific gender because y'all know I really wanted a girl but like um it is what it is whatever I get I get but if that's the case you may want to have sex um 10 days after the start of your period and not the last day of your period so if for me that would have been I believe the 8th oh no the 7th I would have had to have I would have had to have started having sex on the 7th and the reason is because they say girl sperm lasts longer than boy sperm. Girl sperm takes it slower as well, so it takes longer to get to the egg to fertilize it, but the boy sperm only lasts like 24 hours or something like that. I don't know. It all sounds real ridiculous. God's going to give you what God gives you. You know what I mean? So, um, it's foolishness. I just did what I did. So the last and final step to this guide to getting pregnant fast is to stop stressing and worrying about it like i said before that is easier said than done my other friend was just telling me how it took her five months to get pregnant because she was stressed out about it it only took me two tries and of course genetics sort of plays a role in that but there's other people I know that have been trying for years to get pregnant and they can't get pregnant because they are so stressed out about it and they do too much. Like, you gotta take it easy. You really can't be overthinking it. Like, I overthink everything so I know how it feels or I know what it is to do too much. <laughs> but you have to really just be easy, lay low, and not let it consume you because that's basically what happens you're like oh my gosh i want to get pregnant i'm not getting pregnant we're having so much sex i'm not seeing any results but that's because you can't let it go boo like you have to let it go and just let god like honestly i really felt defeated <laughs> the first time we tried and i didn't get pregnant and i don't even know why because it was just like i don't know i just felt like we're both young we're both healthy why are we not getting pregnant and that was just the first try like that's how crazy I am <laughs> so I'm just like why am I that obsessed like why am I thinking it's gonna be that easy and so I don't know I was just thinking two people lay down and lay down they 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 do the bunny hop and then like that you're pregnant that's what I'm thinking because I'm just like there's so many people out here that get pregnant so easily that don't even want their baby or that. Um, got pregnant by accident or like you know just different circumstances that people end up pregnant and then I'm over here wanting to have a baby so bad forever in a day and I'm not getting pregnant and so I think that's where my head was at that's what I was thinking but like you can't think like that because it's such a negative way of thinking it's none of your business to concern yourself with what other people have got going on it's like it's just not so once I accepted the fact that it wasn't that serious like I didn't need to obsess over it is when I got pregnant because even though I say I only tried twice which is a fact like I tried February and then I tried again for April even though that was the case once we did our little experiment <laughs> I hate that I'm calling it an experiment but that's what it was once we did our little thing I wasn't thinking about it I wasn't thinking like oh my gosh I hope I'm pregnant like you know what I mean like I just forgot about it I just didn't think about it I wasn't stressed about it I was telling myself I wasn't pregnant and he was over here telling me that I am pregnant and I'm just like what it's like shut up <laughs> my period's coming so um it was really 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 when I stopped stressing about it that it happened for me because when I tried in February I was more than stressed about it and I was just like every day I was in the shower rubbing my belly and praying to God that there was a baby in there like literally obsessed with it before I went to bed every night I was praying that my little angel was in there and there was nothing in there when my period came I was pissed <laughs> and so um, I was like okay I'm not gonna do that again so the best thing to do is just let nature take its course and you have to remember that there's just a reason everything happens and nothing happens before it's time so if you are trying and trying and trying and stressing and stressing and stressing and it's not happening for you it's all about timing God's not gonna give you something you're not ready for so or more than you can bear 
so um take it easy i wish you guys all the best of luck come back and tell me if this works for you because i really would like to know and um to all of my pregnant subscribers because there's so freaking many of you i freaking love you guys i'm obsessed with you guys we're all gonna be mommies i'm so excited and to everybody else that is trying i wish you guys all the best as well i hope everybody has a safe pregnancy um and delivery and that all of our babies come out naturally naturally chat what was i about to say no <laughs> healthy and normal and sweet and beautiful and all that other jazz okay i love you all and i will definitely see you in the next one